The Bribery Act is a new piece of legislation which was introduced in the dying days of the last government. It was introduced with cross-party support and its aim is to bring up to date Britain's anti-corruption and anti-bribery legislation. The idea is that, that legislation is brought up to international standards. The Bribery Act affects every company in the UK and when I say that I also mean many public sector organisations, those that are incorporated. Within those organisations it also affects directors and officers who can themselves be found personally liable if an instance of bribery is found within their organisation. Those individuals themselves can face unlimited fines and up to 10 years in jail. The Bribery Act is new because for the first time it defines bribery within British law. In addition to that, it introduces a number of new offences. Firstly, international offences, where a British company can be found liable if it commits bribery overseas. In addition to that, it introduces a specific offence of bribing a foreign public official. At home, for the first time, it introduces corporate liability for companies that are involved in bribery activities. In February, as a result of pressure from business and from the media, it was announced that the Bribery Act would be reviewed. This review was to be undertaken to understand whether the Act would have an effect on economic growth in the UK. This review has now been completed and the Government have just released their guidance to allow companies to understand how they can comply with the Act. I think if you asked most businesses, they wouldn't have wanted the Bribery Act in the first place. However, if you ask the question, has the government offered greater clarity, the answer to that question would be yes. They've had to steer a fine line between the lobbying from business, between international pressure and also the need for economic growth. And I think by providing greater clarity and guidance to business, they've managed to achieve that. I think they've gone somewhat further than many of us expected them to go in terms of the level of clarity that they've offered alongside the law and I think mainly they have done a very good job. From tomorrow, a detailed analysis of the government's published guidance will be available on the Bribery Centre website. However, as a short summary, they've covered four main areas. The first one is hospitality. The second one is the area of international tendering. The third is to, to, to give some an analysis to exactly what a commercial organisation is in the UK. And the fourth is to offer some acceptable guidance as to how an agent can perform for a company in an international market. The thing that they haven't changed is anything around facilitation payments. The government have also published their guidance around adequate procedures. These are formed around six clear principles. The first of these is proportional procedures. This is a change from the previously published adequate procedures and essentially makes the difference between a multinational and an SME and I believe is very, very helpful to business now. The second is around top level commitment, as before. The third is around risk assessment, which again has not changed. The fourth is around due diligence, which again hasn't changed. The fifth again is slightly different and could be seen to have slightly softened the government's commitment or, or guidance in this area, where it talks of communication and tra training rather than effective implementation. The fifth is to monitor and review. I think what you can take from these principles is that the government has actually done a good job for business in clarifying the difference between an SME and a multinational and giving companies a much clearer understanding of what they need to implement in terms of adequate procedures. If you've undertaken an initial risk assessment and you believe that your company is at risk as a result of the Bribery Act, we can help you. Visit the briberycentre.co.uk where your company can find all the information it requires about the Act. In addition, you can find a self-service consulting pack which will allow your company to itself manage all of its risks from this new law.